Um, we are, are doing this session, the purpose of this session is to look at the question of why we should consider media policy from a racial justice angle and how you do that, what it means to do that, what kinds of questions you ask, who you talk to, what kinds of fights you pick. Our first speaker is going to be Mark Lloyd, who is a senior fellow at the Center for American Progress in Washington, D.C. Um, during the Clinton administration, um, largely because of uh, you know Congress, who was then very concerned about affirmative action, and uh, believe that um, uh, although affirmative action largely benefited white women, that uh, affirmative action was largely viewed as something that was benefiting blacks, um, uh, not necessarily any of the other uh, racial groups, uh, <laughs> but by blacks, and that blacks had gotten enough, and that it was time to uh, do something about this, and um, uh, these affirmative action programs needed to be stopped. Um, we have not made much improvement since we've begun to pull back from those things in um, the mid-1990s. The conversation about how we communicate with each other despite being aware of the clear impressions that I know that I make in rooms that I walk into when people hear my voice is a challenge. How much do I express the, I think, really pretty obvious complaints of black Americans in rooms full of whites? This, there's nothing more difficult than this because we have really, truly good white people in important positions. And the fact of the matter is that there are a limited number of those positions and unless we are conscious of the need to have more people of color, gays, other people in those positions, we will not change the problem. All right. But you ha we're, we're in a position where you have, to, you have to say, who is going to step down so someone else can have power? There are a few things, uh, I think, more frightening in, in the American mind than dark-skinned black men. <laughs> Here I am. Are you, is the Center for American Progress saying that the Fairness Doctrine isn't necessary or important? What we're really saying is that the Fairness Doctrine is not enough. And that, <laughs> that having, a, having a sort of overarching rule that says, you know, broadcasters ought to be uh, fair, or ought to provide issues important to communities and that they ought to do it in a fair and balanced way is simply enough unless you put some teeth into that and put some hard structural rules in place that are going to result in fairness.